Are you suspicious that your neighbors are lurking on your Wi-Fi network? In this video, you will see how to secure Wi-Fi network from neighbors. You will also know if someone has already compromised your Wi-Fi hotspot. Check if someone has access to your Wi-Fi already. Before following the tips to secure your Wi-Fi networks, you should check if someone has already lured in your wireless access point. The device connected to your Wi-Fi network will display on your router. Some old Wi-Fi routers don't display this information. Let's check if your router supports this. Log in to your router interface by typing its IP address in the browser. The IP address for your router is usually written on the back of your router. For some common routers, it is usually 192.168.1.1 or 0 0.1 or 1.254, etc. You will also see its username and password written on the router. If you can't find the username and password, you can search on the internet using your router name for its default username and password. After logging in, find the section that lists the devices connected. Its name could be connected devices, device list, client list, etc. On my router interface, it shows on the home page as Wi-Fi clients. Once you reach there, identify each device connected with Wi-Fi. If there is a device that you cannot identify, you have got an intruder. Later in this video, you will see how to block an identified device on your Wi-Fi router using Mac filtering. Change the default admin password. The router comes with a default username and password. It is same for every router from the same company, so everyone knows about them. It is better that you change the default admin password. To change the password, log into your router's interface, then go to the settings area and change your default password. Use a strong password similar to any valuable online account. Check Wi-Fi router security settings. Once you change the default admin password, you need to look into the Wi-Fi security configuration. Though most routers come with strong security configuration enabled by default, still you should check and make sure everything is properly configured. Use WPA2 or WPA3. You should make sure that you use either WPA2 or WPA3 encryption to protect your password. If you are using WEP encryption, it can be easily cracked. So stop using that. Log into your router interface and go to the wireless network settings section. Here check the network authentication type and make sure you use WPA2 or WPA3. My router is a little bit older, so it doesn't support WPA3, but it supports WPA2. So use the latest Wi-Fi encryption so that no one can steal your internet. Hide SSID. Your Wi-Fi SSID is the name of your wireless network. When someone scans for available networks on their device, your SSID displays on their device. If the SSID is visible, they can try to break your Wi-Fi password. That's why you should hide SSID so that no snoopers can see your Wi-Fi network. However, it's not a foolproof method. People can extract your Wi-Fi SSID with hacking tools, but someone it will disappoint people from targeting your Wi-Fi. If you open your router's interface and go to wireless network settings, you will see the option to hide your SSID. Turn off WPS. Wi-Fi protected setup or WPS weakens your Wi-Fi security. It is vulnerable to brute force attacks, so you should stop using it. When WPS is used with a PN to authenticate new connections, it can be hacked with a brute force attack so you should open your router's interface and disable the WPS. Strong Password The next thing you can do to secure your Wi-Fi network is to use a strong Wi-Fi password. If you use a simple password, anyone can crack it with simple tools. So you should use a strong password with combinations of small and capital letters, numbers, and special characters. The password should be of at least 10 characters. If you face trouble remembering the password, you can use a passphrase. It can anything that people can't easily guess. Monitor your Wi-Fi network. You should regularly monitor your Wi-Fi network to see if there are any intruders consuming your internet bandwidth. 
If your Wi-Fi router displays the list of people who have connected to the Wi-Fi in past, you should check that frequently. However, most routers don't display this list because they don't have any memory. Such routers can display the list of devices currently connected, but they can't display the history. If your router displays the history, it is best, you can open the interface and check any time. But if it doesn't have such a feature, you need to check the connected device list from time to time, especially when there is a drop in the internet bandwidth. Use Mac filtering. The Mac filtering allows you to block or allow the devices by their Mac address. All of your devices that get connected to the internet have unique Mac addresses. If you have identified that your neighbor is using your Wi-Fi, you can get its MAC address from the connected device list and block in your Wi-Fi router. You can also use the MAC address to whitelist your known devices. In such cases, only the whitelisted devices can connect to your wireless network. However, spoofing the MAC address is not that much difficult. If your neighbor is that technical, he can spoof the MAC address of whitelisted devices. You just hope that your neighbor is not that much technical. Create a guest account. If you are expecting some guests or having a party, you can create a guest account and share the credential with the guests. Once the party is over, delete that account. This way you don't have to change the password of your main network and then retype the password on all your devices. There are always some loopholes, however. If you hide your SSID, use WPA2 or 3 and use a strong password, you can stop your neighbors from accessing your internet without your permission. That's it for this video. If it does help you press the like button and share it with your friends. We keep uploading video related to computer security, so subscribe to our channel and press the bell button to make sure you don't miss anything.